Much Games. Hey guys, Much Games here, and today Brent is going to surprise me with a lane play on the Wii. He has told me nothing about it other than that. Is it a weird, crappy, or super difficult game? Uh, it's definitely weird. Is uh, it in a, in a certain context. I don't think it's obscure. It's definitely crappy. Uh, weird and crappy. Chicken shoot. Uh, no. <laughs> I'll, I'll throw this out there. I guess from a certain perspective, you could consider it obscure. A certain perspective. I, well, I wouldn't. obscure is just a plus. I, I would just consider yeah. it bad and weird. What a, a genre bad, is a it? A bad idea all around. That is a, a platformer. Oh, that's, that's just numerous <laughs> on the Wii. Mm -hmm. I give up. What is it? Uh, Sonic and the Secret Rings. Oh, I actually have that game. Yeah, it's really bad. It'd help if I turn on my Wii remote. I can actually click it all from here. Yeah, we're playing this on a Wii U right now. That way you guys get the HD version of Sonic and the Secret Rings. And that's the reason why we also had an HD Smash Brothers Brawl video a while back for a long play. But that meant we could only use Wii modes, which sucked because we were both used to GameCube. Yeah, and that... Just, I'm so impressed with how that, well that long play did. So am I, because that was not a fun one for the most part. And not a good I, one I either. Think, like, I think... We're much better than that Smash than what we showed in that video. Yeah, I think uh, people overestimate how good or how good the Subspace Emissary is. I actually cut, like Subspace. The cutscenes are very repetitive. The cutscenes are cut great, scenes. but the platforming can just go away. Yeah. Save. But... Like I said, I love the cutscene so much, I was willing to replay the game just to experience it. Press yeah, the this, you hold it up. Uh, like so, no nunchuck. I'm pretty sure, yeah. See, trying, that, to, trying to remember it myself. That's what threw me off on the guesses. Alright, except... I mean, this is a platformer, but it's weird and doesn't quite play like a platformer. It's, it's weird. It's weird. It's a 3D Sonic game. Yeah. It's bad. I like how whenever I give him a bad game, he just throws a 3D Sonic game my way. Yep. Because I got plenty of those. For the longest time, I kept falling into the traps. So when are we going to do Sonic Forces for a lane play? Uh, Ooh, never. Boy, that one's not even worth playing. What time is it? Well, we both own it. Gross. I did not pay for it. I got it for free. It was free on PS Plus. I paid for it because I got to buy two games to get one free and it was my free game. It's, Do not be alarmed. Yeah, it was painful. It's hard to believe that came out like two months after Sonic Mania. You know, like, it's like you got it so right and then so wrong. Well, it was the main team working on exactly. Sonic Forces and the B team working on but even Sonic Sega's, Mania. Someone in Sega's quality control office should have been like, can we really do this? Like, we just won back all our fans that dismissed us over the years, and we lost. So I just keep going back to that episode of South Park with uh, the money. Okay, uh, we're going to diversify this across multiple portfolios, and it's gone. Mm -hmm. What? Your money. It's all gone. Isn't that a meme now? Yeah. And it's gone. And it's gone, yep. So what's going on here at G? I I don't have a freaking clue. I think, think I made it, I think as a kid, I made it like 20 or 30 levels into this before I was like, this is bad. Mind if I just skip this part? Because oh, no, please do. If you can. Thank I can. You. Thank you. Because for a lane play, it's going to be boring if that's all we watch the yeah, whole we time. We, we want to get into the game. We don't need Metal Gear Solid level cutscenes. Tilting the Wii remote to the left oh, and right will move you in yep. that direction. So it automatically runs forward. Yep. Just tilt. See, in in that respect, it's like this isn't even a platformer. It's like a racing game. Because you're just steering. Can I fall off the edge? No, I can't. Okay, that makes me feel better. I thought we were going to be able to fall off the edge. Maybe you can in later levels. Maybe. Maybe not in the tutorial. There, I beat the game. Really fun, isn't it? 
I, I don't get why such epic music just blasts out of nowhere. It's like Dude, you ran forward and got I brain forward. I just it. ran left and right. And that's it. But we got a new page. Again, I don't even remember the story of what's going on here. Sonic Mania had a better story than this. I do love Sonic music, though. Oh, that's the one thing that's remained constant over the years. Sonic music has always been great. Mm -hmm. If only the games were. Like, honestly, some of my favorite Sonic music comes from Sonic 06. It was one of the worst Sonic games, but had such a killer soundtrack. Not everything can be Sonic Press Mania. Press the 2 button and release to jump. To jump. Alrighty. You see, like, the, the longer you go without Hold running into something, the more you can speed jump it so, But it's like, you know, it's a Sonic game. You want to go fast, and look, look how fast you're going. Is this the real speed of the game? And the, the longer you go without slowing down, the faster he goes. Yeah. But, like, it takes... It takes probably a good five seconds for him to hit max speed, if not more. Yeah. Five to ten seconds. And then to make those jumps, you actually have to hold down the two button. Yeah, comes to complete halts. Yeah, it's like it's not Mario Brothers where you just do it. There's a jump. It's you gotta let hold me it hold down it and, and go. A jump. They really are making us back out to each menu and individually choose each level. It's horrible. This is the definition of a bad game right here. This is a. Not just a bad game, this is a terrible Sonic game. Like, where's the continuity here? Look how slow he's going. While jumping, quickly move the Wii Remote forward to perform a jump dash. Okay. You're doing better than the Cuphead tutorial guy. Well, a monkey with a wrench can do better than him. <laughs> okay. Get in the hang of this. Oh. And I died. No! no. <laughs> That's pretty funny. No, I didn't die. Oh no! Guess I gotta You gotta hold it, it down. down and get a big jump. Yep. There you go. I, I oh, just don't no. like that because it's like it beats the per point of Sonic. You're yeah, supposed you're, to you're, run fast. You're but coming you're... to a complete halt to charge up your stupid jump. Just to make that jump. Look at this. Oh no! Yeah, you should have seen the Super Mario Maker 2 live stream last night. It, it went terribly. Why is that? Because I haven't played that game in forever, so I lost all ability for Mario. I had a spring and I couldn't just place it down. I kept throwing it everywhere. I was like, dang it. Did you get any subscriber levels or? Yeah. Oh, nice. Got about three of them. Thank you for participating. Yeah. No, I got four of them. One of them was really good. Or, sorry, three of them were good. One of them was, I had to dislike it. I just did not like that level. But I do appreciate people submitting levels. We should try to make that like a monthly or bi-monthly thing. Mario Maker 2 and you guys just send us your levels whenever. I agree. Well, that's what that's what I did is people have been sending me levels. Yeah. And that's a game I, I want to play more of, but like, things just keep coming out that I want to play that stop me from going back. Well, this is what I think we should do. Once a month or something when we're together, we should play. Like, do a local live stream for like 30 minutes or something. Yeah. Okay, it said move the Wii move forward, right? Oh, what am I missing no. here? Exactly. You can do a homing attack while jumping when the lock-on mark appears. There's the symbol. When the lock-on mark changes from green to red, move the Wii remote forward oh, quickly. Oh, that's why. Green or red. I was saying when it was green. You gotta jump higher, I think. There we go. So that's, that's so you gotta like do the charge jump. You gotta get there. Right gotta go fast. That's like in Sonic Adventure 2. The homing attack. It also made its way into Sonic's moveset in Smash. There we go. 
I think Sonic Adventure 2 is the only 3D Sonic game I've played where I actually liked. Well, that's why I hear Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 are pretty good. But I got a hunch if I were to play Sonic Adventure 2 again today, I wouldn't like it. Yeah. That's why I'm afraid to play it again, because it's going to be like, childhood ruined. The game's actually really bad. Apparently, like, how many paragraphs to the prologue are there? Oh my goodness! Look at that! Christ, help us. And I held that last mission, too. Okay, um... Good with ending it there? Wherever you want to end it. I'm, I'm good. I thought I got a feel for this game. Yeah, it's... It's the weirdest Sonic game I think I've ever played. I haven't played Sonic and the Black Knight. But just because of, like, the control method, you don't have complete control over Sonic. Like, it's an auto-runner. Yeah. It, and you just steer. It's weird. Granted, I will say this. For motion control, I'm okay with an auto-runner for Sonic, where they block the edges. Yeah, that's definitely a good idea, because too many people would be falling off. Yeah, that, so I give them props on that. But you should never make a Sonic auto-runner. Yes. No. Well, you shouldn't make a Sonic with motion controls. Yeah, I think so. That was, but that was the thing, but, they had to put motion controls to the Wii. Oh yeah, it's like, how many Sonic games are on the Wii? There's probably like, five or six uh, of them. Sonic and the Secret Rings, Sonic and Unleashed. the Black Knight, Sonic Unleashed. Uh, Sonic Riders. Riders, Zero yeah. Gravity. Um... I feel like there's at least one or two that we're missing. Do we count Olympic games? I wasn't counting Olympic games, but we could. No. Anyway. Nah, it's not really a Sonic game. That's like a spin-off. Yeah, I just... The other Sonic games I own are, uh... The Olympic ones. Then again, I don't own every Sonic game. But yeah, I do have Secret Rings. Apparently I don't have Black Knight, though. Neither do I. Let's... Let's... Have Let's keep it. Not buy it. Yep. Because it's weird. Yeah. Alrighty. So thank you guys for watching this lane play. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. <laughs>